What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews. Right here we have the Tugger Burner. This is a microphone isolation shield with five folding panels. I already took it out the box. So we have one, two, three, four, five panels. <clears throat> you can put this on your microphone stand, which the bracket came in the box with it. And it also comes with these hex, hex screws and they have nuts, okay? So for us to put this together, we will have to screw them together. So these are foldable and you could collapse the top. And that's just the sound of it when you bring it in and out. That one was hard to come out, but that's it. I guess you gotta break it in so it could be easy. But that's about it. If you wanna fold it down all the way, there you go, it goes into a right angle. Those two boxes came with screws, a screwdriver, and a hex key. Also, the instruction guide. Well, right here, there's a slot right there. So this little nut right there goes right on the inside. All right, it's a little tough to try to put together. So what you have to do is try to squeeze it together or at least get the top on first and get the screw inside so that way it don't come off. Oh, ho, ho. Nut goes here. Oh, that's kind of weird. I don't know why I really wanted to go there. There we go. That nut goes there. And this one goes there like that. Now, what you do is put this together like that. If this thing acts right, just keep them straight like that and tight. Because it will come out of alignment just like how it's doing now, and you gotta put pressure to keep it together. It's not aligned. Ah. 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 All right, let's try this again. All right, you guys, so this is not like a drop-in situation. This is a situation where it screws in. So let's get the hex that they gave us. They should have made it where it just slide in, but Okay, you guys, so this is going to take me forever. Let me go ahead and get my Martisan kit. Y'all remember this kit, right? Lifesaver. All right, right now I got a four millimeter set on this, just in case you want to know. I just want to hand tight, hand uh, twist it on. Nothing too serious. Now we got to get the bottom part on, in which we have to kind of keep it together and bend at the same time. So the trouble with this is trying to keep this aligned. I don't know if you can see it, but you see how I just snap? You gotta try to keep it aligned. So let's keep it straight like that. Ah! Ain't this stuff magnetic? Come on now. And still not aligned. So you have to squeeze it. Right now I got it on my chest and I'm squeezing at the same time. It's kind of hard to twist. Now with this, it stays flush. So that's pretty cool. That's good right there. Now I need to remind myself to take this back apart so I could put the nuts on this side because I forgot to put the nuts on it. So we have our Tuga in the middle. And the reason why the Tuga is in the middle is because to hook up our mount, this is what we need right here. One, two, three, to hook up our mount. So we gotta put the other two panels on the other side and then we'll get into the mount. We are about to install the mic bracket. All right, first thing first, we gotta take the three screws out on the back. All right, so these three holes right here, you have to put on the back of the shield. Now when you do this, you see this big hole right there on the bottom? You gotta go right between the feet. 
right there and slide it back all right now when you do that you put your three screws on the inside where they supposed to go after you tighten the three screws on the back you flip it around and then you have it up like that I want it like this so y'all can see. All right, we're gonna put this part on already. You see these little teeth? Ah. <sighs> All right, you guys, we're gonna put this part on. These teeth in the photo are down. So we are going to put it down like that. Screw that on here, or uh huh. Screw that on. That's as tight as we can screw it. Got the washer, I'm gonna put the washer up. This first part goes in the beginning part of the bracket. I hope y'all can see that. All right, so that's tight. Okay, you guys, so right now we are going to put the glider, I'm gonna call it the glider, but we're gonna put this part in the middle, which glides back and forth. So I'm gonna leave it loose, that way we can glide up, down, all right, you guys, I forgot the washer. So you put the washer on and then you can put the glider together. Now last, we put the last piece on, which goes in this little tiny hole right here. And that's it. Now, if you want to leave the bracket on like that, let me back y'all up. All right, you guys, so I know for the most part, y'all gonna put the shield on a mic stand like this. If not, if you have a base already, like this, you might just put the shield on your desk. All right, so if you have a base already, okay, you guys, so if you have a base already with your mic, you may not put this uh, bracket on, but you can have it on and just in case if you want to swap it from here, if you want to record your audio here or whatever you're recording, or you want to go to your stand, you can just go ahead and easily lift this up and screw it onto your stand. So this is one way of doing it. So most of y'all is going to put this on a mic stand, a regular mic stand. So this is what y'all will be doing. Of course, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So this is how most of y'all will have y'all setup. This is the setup right here. This is y'all recording on it. Um, you got the middle part, you fold it in if you want to fold it. You can fold that in some more. A little hard, but you gotta break it in. Collapse it down. Now it's total isolation, so whenever you do your recording of stuff, sound won't be traveling everywhere. It'll be mainly inside of the insulation. And that's about it. That's all I can really tell you about the review unless you need to know anything else. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.